Hey guys, of course, everybody should know who I am by now. Um, I'm actually going to be going over some wildlife due to the fact that it is actually almost hunting season, which I do have a hunting license now. Um, I actually went out and got my bow license to hunt with bow. Um, I'll tell you about the many benefit, benefactors and benefits of hunting with bow, um, but I'm actually going to be going over some of the animals, like the wildlife that you will actually go out and see, um, and want to go for, and keep in mind of how to act and react of any situation. Um, one of the first things is the white-tailed deer. Um, that is actually going to be one of the things I will be going after. Um, there are two different types. They are doe and buck. Um, you can tell the difference between one, the size, and two, antlers. Um, the bucks will usually have antlers. There's something called a button buck, where the antlers are literally like that, just coming in. Um, the biggest thing is when you're counting points, it's literally how many points are on the antlers. So let's say you have te a 10 point buck, it'll have 10 different points on it. Um, they're usually found just about anywhere, anywhere that has food, grass, apples, they're, um, mostly herbivores, you know, found all over um very good for hunting which i actually just had venison last night um really good meat very little fat on it because of you know what they eat in their diet and um stuff like that so basically one of the biggest things you want to look for in trying to find a deer is look for anything that would have like alfalfa um, apples, anything that deer would like to eat. Um, that way that'll actually be a lot easier to actually go out and find them and, you know, make hunting a little bit easier for you. Um, other than that, I will actually touch on some other, other wildlife and I'll get to it. 